Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to take a look at Train Sim World 3. Now, you know, this is... Uh, these Train Sim games, man, they're, they're just... There's something about them, right? I mean, they're just... Uh, they can be really chill, and they can be really stressful. Um, I find that the, uh, the passenger routes are pretty chill, relaxing, and the... Freight routes, uh, not so much. They could be they could be pretty stressful to say the least. So, here we have a brand new menu system, and actually, I'm I'm kind of liking it. Okay, so first of all, very um, new to the the game, it, it works really good when when it comes on. You hit the button, and it brings you right to this menu, and I don't have to re log in every time to the uh, the dovetail live, which is great. So on your home screen, you have to the trains, which this is your collection, and you can pick a train, and it'll let you go to a timetable, scenario, or training modules, and when you do that, it'll let you select whatever train you have. So that's pretty cool. So actually, guys, now with Trains in World 3, you can actually buy trains, and they don't have to be tied to a map DLC. You can actually buy the train that you want, and you can pick the train and they will put you in a scenario um, for that train without having to buy the whole map. So that's that's pretty cool. So we can choose a route. Right? We can choose any ones that we own here. We could do that. And we can choose again timetable scenarios or the training modules. Pretty much like before, right? Quick play. I'm, I'm not going to hit this because I don't want to... Do a quick play, and I want to just jump into something. Um, rail Journeys. So, these, this is basically like in TSW2, uh, where you could... This is kind of like the career story mode, I guess, where it's going to put you in a mix of scenarios and timetables. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, you know, I mean, we could go quick play, jump straight in, but uh, I don't know what they're going to give me. I kind of want to look at the uh, the Cajon Pass while we're here. The Cajon Pass is the new route in this game. The routes that we have in this game, actually, let me just show you guys really quick here. So we have... Where is it? Okay, we have the Cajon Pass. Um, we have the Southeastern High Speed. And we have the, the German one here, the Castle to Wurzburg. So those are the three that, that come with it. I didn't get the version with the, the Spirit of Steam because, honestly... I'm just not too interested in the Spirit of Steam. So, uh, yeah, I just got the uh, the three routes there, and these are all of my DLCs, obviously. So, let's go to Rail Journeys. Let's uh, go back and do the Cajon Pass, and we'll continue that. And we're going to be going from, I believe, El Paso to somewhere in California. Guys, this screenshot, I mean, look at this. I have yet to see any, any weather or anything like that in the game. I haven't really been playing it. You know, a lot. I, I played for like a couple hours yesterday, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen any weather yet, so I'm excited to see that. All right, so intermodal El Paso to San Diego. Okay, let's let's get started, guys. So obviously, I'm not like too. Wait a minute, let me adjust something here. Okay. So I'm not too interested in getting this 100% perfect. I just want to kind of show off the game. Um, if we take a look out here, I will say... No, now it looks good. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Oddly enough, wait a minute. Let me just uh, let me get out of the train here for a second. Because there was one thing I noticed that I wasn't crazy about during the uh, the training module, but maybe uh, maybe it was just a glitch of BNSF. Okay, no. So in the training module, why can't I go any further? I can't, okay. In the training module, um, these numbers here, they were very pixelized, and the BNSF also was pixelized, but now they're not. Now they look now they look fine, actually, so... Alright. But I just... I did want to point that out, because like I said... I am playing this on the PS5. And like I said... 
obviously when you get right up close to the numbers, you can see some pixelization there, some jagginess, which, you know, it is what it is. I mean, this is a AAA title. I'm not going to beat it up too much about it, but, uh, yeah, I seen that it would look just very blurry to me, but now it looks, now it looks actually good. So, all right, let's get in the train and let's, uh, let's get this thing going. Let me see if I remember how to start this up because they're not going to hold my hand this time. So generator field. We want that on. We need to put in the reverser panel and put that in forward. Let's uh, turn on the lights. There we go. Um, let's see here. What else do we have to do? I think that's it. Are we going forward? Yeah, we're going forward. All right, so we're going to give it a little bit of throttle here. Set the automatic brake handle to release before applying power. Okay, this is on full. All right. There you go. I'm a little rusty, guys. Not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've done this. Put that throttle on two. I like to put it on two. There we go. Let's get some power to that, and let's take off the independent brake and be on our way. 28 miles. This is going to be a long trip. I hope. I hope this first one isn't going to be too difficult. I hope it's going to be too hard on me where I got to use like dynamic brakes and stuff. But uh, yeah, guys, we are on our way. So this is it. This is the brand new Train Sim World 3 on PS5. It's looking good from what I can tell, from what I can see. Um, it looks pretty good. I mean, there's still some things about the game that I guess we're just going to have to live with. Like uh, a little bit of popping and stuff like that. But uh, again, I just feel like these kinds of games, it's just what we're going to have to deal with, right? It's not, <laughs> it's not something that they're ever going to iron out. Which, like I said, I, I completely understand that this isn't like a AAA title. I do get that. But, you know, it's like, at this point, you think they could figure that out. But it's fine. It's not anything that's really detracting. But, I mean, the lighting, I feel the lighting is so much better. And, I mean, just look at the shadows of that and the, the textures and everything. The game really does look a lot better. So, we are on our way. We have to stop in location in Victorville. I wonder if this is just a one... It should be just a one stop, actually. This is a, a freight train route, so we shouldn't have to have too many stops. Unless we get red lights, we got to watch for that, man. That's one thing we got to watch out for. Now, this here, I haven't figured this out yet because it says speed control. Can I actually do this now? No, it's not going to let me do speed control, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have not figured out how to do the speed control yet. Maybe we just uh, can't? I don't know. Let's put that on. Map not available. What is this, I wonder? Hmm. All right, so. So it, hmm. So it does sound like there's a bit of reverberation on the horn now, so that's uh, that's actually pretty cool. That was something that was lacking, I feel, on uh, on Train Sim World 2 anyway. And we have a bit of a grade here, so we're going to just <laughs> bump this up a little bit more, I think. I have no idea how many cars we have here either so let me check oh well, let me see here it's all new guys so wow we have 72 cars now let me just uh check the schedule here Victor stop the location Victorville okay so this is gonna be a pretty long trip man 27 miles nice I, I like that you know um I feel like in this game 
you want nice long trips so if they've added that that is going to be fantastic man you know and i do i do like these freight routes um the american ones they can be tricky and they can be very frustrating um i know that i've already seen some videos on the cajon pass here where there's some pretty bad uh hills that are pretty steep that you have to use your dynamic brake and uh starting on hills and stuff so it's a challenge man it's a challenge and uh you know the one thing i can say that i really do appreciate with these train sim world titles though is that you can bring all your dlc from the last game over to the new game and you don't have to rebuy it and uh yeah that's that's much appreciated so i think we can bump that up even more i don't know how fast we're going to be able to go actually i mean we have quite a bit of weight on here we could probably open that window up. Look at that. Some view. Very, uh, very much a desert area out here, of course. So yeah, I mean, this is just one of those games that uh, I always forget how much I enjoy, and then when I get playing the game again, it's like, yes, it's like I, I remember how much I absolutely love this game such a good chill game so it looks like we have some uh some new cars though we're going under a couple highways here it looks like and yeah it looks like we have some new new containers here so i like that look at that that's 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 very cool very cool it looks like possibly that's all we're carrying today are just containers. All right. As you can see, the sky, they've rehauled the sky. They got like volumetric clouds. You can see the clouds now. They're, they're kind of moving around. It looks so good. It looks like it's getting more cloudy. The, uh, the closer we get to our destination, which is very cool. We got some residential area over here. This is my first time looking at the, uh, the cone map. We got some traffic over there. Absolutely love that. I don't know if this is too loud. I hope it's not. Actually, let me, uh, let me see about that real quick. There you go. We kicked that master volume down a little bit because I felt like that was a little loud. Or it might just be because my, my headsets, it might just be loud. Let me... Turn the headsets down a little bit because I don't want to be yelling and uh, the audio from the uh, actual game was okay. So yeah, we will just turn that down a little bit. Oh, I should probably put that back on. That would be horrible if we went through a red light and we would have to <laughs> redo this whole thing from the start here. But yeah, we got some traffic out there. We got the green light, beautiful. It looks like it's a gorgeous day. I'm wondering if we're gonna run into some weather. I would love to see the dynamic weather, but uh, we'll definitely take a look at that because I'll be playing this game a lot more. Um, this is such a good live streaming game, you know, because the routes are very long, so it makes it kind of hard to do a video on it, but I did want to just show it off a little bit. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still Train Sim World, right? But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I like it. I like it. Like I, I've enjoyed Train Sim World 2, so there was no doubt that I would enjoy Train Sim World 3 as well. Uh, like I said, I didn't get the bundle with the Spirit of Steam because, I don't know, Spirit of Steam, I, I really thought that it was something that I was going to like. But, uh, I don't know, after I seen it, it just didn't really strike me. So I couldn't see spending the extra money to get that when I probably wasn't going to use that route anyway. The other two routes in this game though, I have checked out, I've done some of the training modules on, and they're really fun. So we'll be doing those, we'll be doing the old routes. Um, there's some routes that I, I bought that I've literally only done maybe the training modules and that's it. Like just recently I purchased uh, Cane Creek, hardly done anything on Cane Creek. Um, I don't think I've even done one scenario. 
I've done the Oakville subdivision in Canada. Um, again, I did the, the training modules. I don't think I've done much past that. So yeah, we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. And of course, Sam Patch Grade and from the other ones, I haven't even finished those yet. I have to restart those. So yeah, we have a ton to do in this game and it'll be a lot of fun. A lot of fun to stream this game. So now, when I play this game, I, I tend to stay in this view a lot. Oh, we're speeding here, so let's... Oh, okay, we're on a downhill grade, so we need to... We need to check this. <laughs> we need to make sure we don't go any faster. What is my brake on? We want an automatic brake. Okay, and we're going back up, so... Well, let's give her... Let's give her some power here, because... I am not familiar with these routes, so I have no idea which ones drop steep and which ones climb a lot, so we need to really be aware of our surroundings here. Let's see, are we losing speed? 56, it seems like we're, uh... Alright, we're back on level ground, so that's, that's good. Let's take a look at the outside here. Why? I wish the camera was a little more free to move around. It's, uh, wow. Yeah, you can't, you can't seem to move it out that much. I, I don't know if I like that. And I can't change the controls. Let me, uh, let me check, guys. Hold on. Give me one second here. Yeah, I cannot change the controls from the immersion. So I can't get, like, the, uh... The free camera, which I'm not too happy about that. But anyways, I mean, I guess there's not a whole hell of a lot to see, huh? This is just a lot of flat desert. We're coming up to a grassy area up over here, but yeah, there's really not that much to uh to look at. And again, the render—it's so strange because, and again, this might just be the limitations of of Dovetail Games, but. You know, one of the, oh, I don't know what that was. One of the big selling factors of the PS3, or PS3, oh my god, the PS5 even, uh, the PS5 was the fact that it could render in maps a lot quicker. You know, it's just hard for me to believe that, you know, it can't handle something like this. So I'm going to have to chalk it up to probably, it's maybe the developers not knowing how to optimize the game for it, I, I don't know. But, uh, well, maybe that's how that's supposed to look, because as you can see, even from here, it still doesn't look like you're rendered in, so it could just be a, a graphical glitch or something. All right, let's put this back on max power. We have 22 miles to go on this journey. So I'm probably not going to leave this whole trip in. We'll probably skip ahead a little bit. Uh, like I said, I have no idea how long this is going to take. I imagine it's going to take quite some time, considering that we're only going about 55 miles an hour right now, and that's probably about the best that we're going to get out of this thing. So, as I said, the one thing I'm really concerned about are the gradients. Um, I have no idea what to expect from this. I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, this first timetable that they have is going through is going to kind of ease us into it. And uh, I think that's what's going to happen because, I mean, it, it looks like there's just a lot of flat desert land ahead of us here. So it should be pretty easy anyway. And can we actually... No, because that visor is just there. And what are the controls for... That there, is that... Please? Okay, we got buttons there that we cannot push. Hmm. Visor, light brightness. Again, we have a uh, co-captain over there, which she's not very talkative. <laughs> um, horn, horn sequencer, alerter, bell. Hmm. 
Alright, interesting. Ah. Oh, okay. You can... Huh. I thought for a minute there I screwed up. <laughs> Alright. So we are right in the, uh, the Dust Bowl here. We're from El Paso to San Diego. How cool is that? Like I said, with the upgrade, we should be able to have longer trips now. Um, you know, I was watching, I was watching Blue Games and he was saying that the, uh, the high speed, the ICE train, um, we have trips now that are over an hour long. And, uh, be, wow, how am I going that fast? Up a grade, let's, let's dial it back here. Uh, and he was saying that he thinks it'd be cool to have some trips for the, uh, the ICE that are like maybe two, three hours long, which I can, I can see that. That'd be definitely cool for a stream. I don't know how much people that play the game <laughs> would enjoy that. But, uh, it would definitely be cool for a live stream to take like a three hour trip, especially with a passenger train, making a whole bunch of stops along the way. That'd be pretty cool, man. I'd be, uh, I'd be down for that. 19 miles to go. So we've gone nine miles. <laughs> and again, like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take us. I'm, I'm guessing this is going to take us, jeez. Maybe a half hour or better? Maybe longer than that. I don't know. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go outside. Yeah, I really don't like that that camera, though, is not... Wait. Now we're going well, a little further, I guess. I'm zoomed out as far as I can go. But that is our train, guys. And that's, that's the terrain that we're looking at. Yeah, a couple cars going down a dirt road there. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty flat. I don't think we're going to have to worry about too many gradients on this trip. And let's shut that damn bell off. I keep forgetting. All right, let's let's get moving a little bit more here, shall we?
All right, guys, so we are under 10 miles left to go. Oh, wow, look at that. We got a huge solar panel field out here. I wonder what that powers. I mean, that is a big solar field. I know just up the road from me locally, we have a car wash that they just installed that is completely run on solar power. And <clears throat> they have a, uh, a field behind it that's uh, full of them, but not like that. That's a lot. That That's a lot. I have no idea what that, that powers. If anybody knows, uh, let me know in the comments, because honestly, I mean, there's nothing out here unless this is kind of powering the uh, little town here. <laughs> As you can see, the railroad crossing is down. So that's working as it should. So it shouldn't be long now. I mean, we're going 56 miles an hour. We have 8.7 miles to go. So we're doing all right. The only tricky thing is going to be stopping this thing. It's always one of those things where you have to judge the time when to start slowing down. Uh, this is the thing they added to the game this uh in an iteration of it the trains actually move so they kind of like sway back and forth and, and they uh yeah they, they tip and stuff and it looks really good it really feels like you're, you're in a train as you can see the train was just banked there now it's kind of like moving side to side very cool okay 8.1 miles it was literally 28 miles Pretty much just this. <laughs> not uh, not the most interesting stuff to look at. You know, as I said, it's uh, it's just desert out here. That's all it is. So let me know what you guys would think. Uh, would you like to see them add kind of like scenic routes? You know, not necessarily freight. Uh, maybe passenger like uh, tour based routes um, I know here in upstate New York like we have a, uh, a scenic tour that goes through the Adirondacks that um, I believe it's like an old steam train that it brings you on it's got like these cool uh, cars that are uh, like with glass tops on them and stuff like that so you can see all around uh, it's very cool actually uh, pretty pricey to go on I've never actually done it but uh, I actually would love to one of these years they have one that goes to the Adirondacks in the winter time and they serve like hot chocolate and snacks and stuff like that uh, I've always wanted to do that that seemed like a uh, something interesting to do in the winter time you know because winter can be such a uh, such a boring depressing time of year it's, it's nice to get out and do something get out of the house and get some fresh air once in a while in the winter time instead of just you know, pretty much stay cooped up. But yeah, I think it would be really cool to add, like, uh, scenic routes to the game. Alright, six and a half miles. We are doing good now. We are uh, going a little faster than the speed limit, but that's alright. We're in the yellow, we're not in the red, and the way it's going up and down, uh, it doesn't really matter. Because now we're having the uh, uphill grade again. If I cut the throttle back, then we'll we'll start going downhill again, and then we'll just pick up more speed. So we'll just leave it where it is right now. And again, this here, I've been trying to figure this out. It says speed control. I cannot figure it out at all. I, I hit these buttons, and nothing happens here. I don't know if it's something that I should be doing on this screen or what. Not that it matters because we can't really control the speed too much here anyway. That uh, speed control is really useful for when you're filling coal cars and you have to go really slow. You can set that right up like around, you know, two or three miles an hour and fill up those cars. As you can see, we got the, uh, the sun shining in there from over there somewhere. Not really sure how the sun is shining in there. <laughs> Possibly from the, uh, possibly from the windshield there, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so now I believe we're coming up to a concrete factory, a cement factory, something like that is set on the map. 
again, the uh, the camera, I'm not not fond of the camera outside, and the fact that I can't switch it over from the immersive to the uh, like the classic, I, I'm not I'm not fond of that at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on the map this says this is a cement factory or a concrete factory or something of the like. Honestly, this is probably the first interesting bits that we've had to uh, look at since we started the trip here. So, yeah, let's just kind of take a look at this here. There are cars there, so I'm wondering if at some point we'll have to stop here, maybe load up with, with some uh, cement or something. Got an excavator there. We got dump trucks working. Very cool. We got all the uh, Union guys just standing around, taking a little break. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Where are we now? 4.1 miles. Now, it does look like we are getting some hilly terrain, like over to there, and especially over in there, so... Yeah, I know this. Uh, I know this route is going to get very challenging as we progress, but I'm I'm glad that it's not yet. It's not in this scenario, this first scenario or uh, timetable, rather. I'm glad they didn't give us anything too challenging to, uh, to handle here. I've got a something over there, municipality, perhaps. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know if I could live in the desert, man. I don't know. It's just... I like my greenery, you know? I, I like that. I mean, there's not much going on here. I mean, it's kind of nice you don't have to mow your lawn because, obviously, you don't have lawns. It'll make uh, cleaning up after your dog a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> All right, three miles to go. Yes, sir. Ooh, we have a yellow light. Coming up. I hope we don't have a red one coming up. Flashing yellow. 2.8 miles. We have an uphill gradient that we're going 0.6%, so not too bad, but it does look like we're losing speed. You know, let's uh let's actually start slowing down a bit here because I don't want this to come up on me too quick and not be able to stop because yeah as you can see it's 52 51 okay yeah well now we're on we're on even gradient aren't we so because yeah, i don't know how long it'll take us to stop here We have quite a bit of weight behind. Yeah, see the see how the train's shaking there? That is awesome. Don't know if that would give some people maybe motion sickness if you're playing this. <laughs> I don't know if that's the thing. I like that. Now we're starting to see some interesting things. We got some water going in here. Alright. We got some turbines coming up. Very cool. Whoa, I need to... <laughs> I need to slow down here, big time. Oh, God. See that? I screwed up. I screwed up, guys. I screwed up. <laughs> Our stop is coming up very fast. Looking at the scenery, as I do. <laughs> Why is that not showing brakes are on? Okay, full service here, baby. Why is it showing the brakes are on? That's strange. All right, we're, we're slowing down decently now.
Now see, now we're going too slow. So let's uh, let's try to get this baby moving again. Oh God. You don't want to stop here. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay. Here we go. We're starting to get it moving again. She's struggling. She's struggling, boys. Oh, we're getting up there. The good news is um, we have to just stop the train, you know, before the last car passes the location. So we'll be good. So I want to cruise in at about 15 miles an hour. That's that's pretty much the sweet spot, I'd say. 15, 16 miles an hour. Okay, I don't know how we're picking up speed when we have an uphill grade, even if it's a, a tiny one. Unless, again, that's wrong. Unless that, that's downhill. It's showing. Let's see here. So we're just coasting in. Okay, we're starting to... Well, we lost a mile and now we gained a mile, so... We'll just let it coast in. I kind of feel comfortable with this speed. I think we're doing all right. We're right next to the turbines, aren't we? That's pretty cool. Cannot... Get distracted again, though. Yeah, we're staying at a constant 20 miles an hour here. So now I know we could be going faster, but it would take too long to stop the train so as I said we're just gonna kinda coast in here I think this is gonna be fairly easy like I said we don't need to we don't need to stop the engine right at the location as long as the train stops in the location before the last car passes it and we're good to go, and it's, that's definitely going to happen. There's no way we're not going to be able to stop the train. We're only going 19 miles an hour. So we'll put on minimum application now. You can see we're starting to slow down. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we are coming to a complete stop. We got some workers here. I got a food stand there. I got my dog barking outside. All right, so we just got a bronze out of that. It's crazy. I don't know what they wanted. I mean, our speed was pretty good up until the end, actually. But yeah, so that's our first. Uh, that's our first trip on Train Sim World Three from El Paso to San Diego. Time taken: forty-five minutes, forty-one seconds. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, guys, so that's where we're going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your first look at uh, Train Sim World 3 here. I know I'm a little late to the party with it, but the fact of the matter is it took a couple weeks before you could get all the, uh, the past DLC anyway. I have all my DLC now, so I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. I mean, we did that whole thing. I didn't notice any of that weird stuttering that we had with TSW2. I didn't see 
any stuttering at all. Actually, it uh, it looked like it was pretty smooth. Like I said, there's still a little bit of popping going on, but I guess that's to be expected. I guess that's something that, you know, they're not going to completely do away with. Uh, but overall, I, I'm enjoying the game. Uh, I think they did a good job with it. Uh, I, I've enjoyed the last game. So, yeah, drop down in the comments what you think about it. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.